Hey students, how are you all? Today's topic is electromagnet. Yes, electromagnet, which is a very important portion of the chapter electromagnetism. First of all, we'll discuss what is called electromagnet. Listen, electromagnet, from the name only we can like uh, we can understand or we can split out the name like electromagnet means electricity is using and you are getting magnetism yes so magnetism is obtained from current electricity very simple from current electricity we are getting magnetism now let us consider that this pen is made up of iron okay and I'm going to use current electricity to convert it as a magnet. Yes, by using current electricity, I can convert this as a magnet. Then I will call this magnet an electromagnet. The magnetism power which will come from this electricity, that magnet formed will be a temporary magnet yes it will be a temporary magnet but it has lot of beneficial effects okay so let us see now how to convert a iron piece into a magnet then we'll discuss its benefits okay first let us consider that i am taking a simple iron bar okay this is a simple iron bar fine this is a simple iron bar. Fine. Now I am going to use electricity to convert it as a magnet. For that I required thin wire. Okay. Thin metallic wire. Fine. And by using that metallic wire, just we have to wound the metallic wire. Okay. Around it. We have to wound around the iron bar. How? See. We will take the where like this yes see this is the way yes this is the way now here's something you have to note that the first turn is visible see the first turn which i'm taking that is visible Okay, this turn you can see here, yeah, it's visible. But the last turn is not visible, it's coming from its back. This is very important, okay? Because this is the portion where students make mistakes, okay? So first turn is visible and the last turn is not visible, fine? Now in this condition, you have to connect a cell with it. See, I have connected a cell, positive, negative. In this condition, this iron bar will behave like a bar magnet. Yes, it will be a bar magnet. Okay. And since a magnet has both north pole and south pole, so it will have also a north pole and a south pole. And see, this is, this, this is positive terminal. So current is going in this direction and the current is getting back this direction. So which direction current is going? That side will be south pole and the, from the other end current is coming out. That will be the north pole of this magnet. Understood? This is called I-shaped electromagnet. Yes, I-shaped electromagnet it's important for your exam okay now another electromagnet is also there now we are going to take a iron bar but in the shape of u okay so this is a u-shaped iron bar i'm taking now this is the u-shaped iron bar okay not straight now what I am doing, I am going to apply the same technique. Okay, I will take the metallic wire and I will wound around it. But there is a style of wounding. I am going to show you that. See how. 
I will take the where. See, like this I will take. See here, the where I have owned it. See, how? The first turn is not visible. And here also this turn is not visible. Okay? But here, the turn will be like this. Yes, this way. This way, see. Like this. See, here, this first turn is not visible. This turn is also not visible. Means they are going from the back of the bar. Okay? But here, this turn is going from the front of this bar. So this turn is visible. This turn is also visible. Okay? In this condition, if you connect this with a cell plus minus, then this magnet, this bar will behave like a magnet. This is another electromagnet. Okay? And current is entering this direction. And this pole will behave like north pole. And the other pole from where the current is coming out. That portion will behave like a S pole. Okay. So north pole, south pole. Since the shape of this bar we have taken like U. Alphabet U. So we will call it U shaped electromagnet. So we will write U shaped electromagnet. Both the electromagnets are equally important for your exam. So, I-shaped electromagnet and U-shaped electromagnet. Now, if I ask you, how will you increase the power of these magnets? Okay? To increase the power of this magnet, we can do two, two things. First of all, you have to increase the number of turns. Okay? The electromagnet which I am forming here, how many turns I made? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I made 8 turns. And you are forming an electromagnet where you are using like say 20 turns. I use 8 turns and you are using 20 turns. That means your magnet's power will be higher than my magnet. Got it? So number 1 on which the magnetic power depends Number one is number of turns. Okay, number of turns. Number two, I have used here only one cell. Instead of using one cell, if you use more number of cells, like three cells, five cells, seven cells, then the magnetic power will be increased. Got it? So number two is more cells. Okay, more cells means more power. Understood? Or to increase its to increase its magnetism power or to decrease its magnetism power, we can connect an electric device with it, which we call rheostat. Now, what is rheostat? Rheostat is something which increases the resistance or decreases the resistance of a circuit. Okay. That is rheostat. I repeat, rheostat means which can increase or decrease the resistance of a circuit. So, what is the function of rheostat? Rh means rheostat. Rheostat is used to increase or decrease resistance. Increasing resistance means current will be decreased, and decreasing resistance means current will be increased. Understood? When resistance is increasing, current will be decreased. When resistance is decreasing, current will increase. Got it? We know that because the property of resistance is to stop the current. Okay? To oppose the flowing of current. Now, to increase or decrease the resistance, we have to connect a rheostat. Now, what is the symbol of rheostat? See, I am going to draw it now. We have to disconnect it from here. Okay. Then 
This is the symbol of rheostat. Yes, this is the symbol of rheostat. Just you have to write capital R, small h here. Okay. Same here, you connect one rheostat. Okay, rheostat. Simple. This is the symbol of a rheostat. So, what is the function of rheostat? Rheostat can increase or it can decrease the resistance. Increasing the resistance means current will decrease. Decreasing the resistance means current will increase. Understood the function? Yes. So, in this way, we can make electromagnets. Now, what are the benefits of using an electromagnet? See, an electromagnet, if you switch off the current electricity, the magnetism power is nil. Okay, zero means it's not a magnet. But when you switch on the electricity, suddenly it becomes a powerful magnet. But for a permanent magnet, okay, for a permanent magnet, you cannot increase or decrease its magnetic power. Okay. We can increase or decrease its magnetic power whenever we want according to your desire. You can increase or decrease its magnetic power even you can make it nil means no magnets, zero magnet. Okay, in this case, but for a permanent magnet, you cannot do that. Okay, now what is the use of an electromagnet? Say big iron box is there, big iron box. Okay. And you have to take this iron box from one place to another place. Now it is very difficult so since the size of the magnetic box is much bigger and it's heavier. So it's very difficult to take it and to change its place. For that reason, what we do, we take a powerful electromagnet. Okay, say so this is the box. Okay, this is the box, that iron big box. Now I am taking that U-shaped magnet, okay, I am taking that magnet, fine, now I am taking that magnet here, okay, so since this is an electromagnet, so it will attract the box and when you lift it, the box you are taking the box and where you want to keep the box, just keep it and stop passing electricity, means switch off the electricity. When you have switched off the electricity, this U-shaped magnet will lose its magnetic power. So just it will lift this box and you can place the box here. So easily you can make this as magnet to attract the box. And when your purpose is done, you just switch off the electricity, its magnetic power will be lost. So and you can change the place of that okay another use i want to say you for electromagnet is electric bell yes electric bell is that where we use electromagnet means when you are switching on the electricity that u-shaped electromagnet is used over there that becomes a magnet and continuously it st strikes the bell so, and you get the sound and when you switch off the electricity that stops okay because the u-shaped magnet electromagnet which is fitted over there that loses its magnetic power and the sound gets off okay so in this way we can take the benefit of electromagnets okay so i hope you understood what is called electromagnets and how we form the I-shaped and U-shaped electromagnet and you must be very careful with these turns. See how these turns are made as I told you from front, back, front, back, all this you have to remember because if you are making a mistake here then obviously your marks will be deducted. Deducted means you will get zero on that. So I don't want you to get you zero. So that's why. You should consider on this. Hope you understood the concept. So we'll meet you all next video. Thank you all.